G'day, Tony Fountain here from The Drum, and uh, great to have you with us on uh, on this broadcast. Look, one of the things that, uh, the survey that if you're a drum reader, you would have realised in the last week or so, I've been running a survey um, asking various things about the Highlands, etc. And two of the questions were, what do you like about the Highlands, and what would you like to see improved? Now, obviously, what they like of the Highlands is the climate, the weather, the location, the Sydney education, all those things. Problem areas two people <coughs> people saw were basically the two main ones were a better rail link to Sydney and also employment. Now this isn't to talk about a rail link, but come to employment and we've got just the right young lady to be talking to here, Lynn Watson, who's the owner of Highland Recruitment. So I thought nothing better than to go and talk to the boss and get the drum on what's happening in the Highland. So Lynn, what do you see? What opportunities do you see for employment? What's what inquiries do you get? You tell us. Well, first of all, hello. Um, <laughs> hello, everyone out there. This is a bit of a new Sprung experience for me. <laughs> so uh, we'll give it a go, though. Um, employment. We're very busy, Tony, but for every job, there will probably be 30 people that want it. Right. So what we're seeing thrive are solid small businesses in the area right and the main positions that we're always trying to fill seem to be bookkeepers personal assistants um, people that are fairly multi-skilled they can do reception but they can also do some yep. myob yep. and they can um, upload web things so, as well so that would fit in to a lot of the older generation well, so, so the uh, yeah the older generation as well as younger people Yes, yeah, yes. Some of the older people um, who are a wonderful asset, um, but sometimes their web skills aren't as right. polished yep. as yep. the young ones. Yep. And these days that's pretty... Sorry, we've got an ambulance That's it, we're busy. Past. City lock, city lock. <laughs> um, age care's thriving. Right. You know, we have a... A large elderly population yep. here, so that the, the nursing homes and the retirement villages are always wanting people. Yep. Uh, we also that there's a lot of jobs out there for mainly Sydney people that have these large properties here that need housekeepers, right? Yeah, and sometimes drivers, sometimes cooks, sometimes chefs, you know, uh, whatever. So that's what we've been busy with. Um, accountants, they're always looking for good accountants, so we're there's any good accountants out there, we love to see you. Manufacturing has pretty well come to a standstill. Right. Um, Joy put a lot of people off, and now it's sort of steady, yep. but they're not putting people on. Ducks put a lot of people off. Uh, they've put a few back on, which is lovely to see. Yeah. Uh, they've been bought by a Japanese company. So a lot of the manufacturers, though, are just right. staying as, well. yes. Um, Harpers Collins have put a, a few on, uh, so, so that's always good to see. Uh, what, hospitality, obviously, that's they're yeah. always in demand. You know, there's not enough fabulous yeah. food and so, beverage managers or fabulous chefs. So just on hospitality with, with younger people, what what are the what are the key things that someone wants to employ a younger person about? I mean, I, I had an experience in a coffee shop the other day and I couldn't believe it that uh, I got a $5.80 bill, so I gave the young lady $10.80, fully expecting a $5 change. And it, she hit the calculator to work it all out. And that, that sort of <laughs> blew me away a little bit. So what, what do employers, I guess, of coffee shops, hospitality, what, what do they look for in someone to employ? Uh, the first thing is presentation. <coughs> right. They have to look pretty presentable. Yep. You know, particularly dealing with food or whatnot. So the hair has to be neat and tidy. Um, you don't want 20,000 studs or, or whatever. So the presentation has to be fairly good, clean, tidy, neat. They have to have a lovely rapport with people. So right. they have to be able to smile and look people in the yep. eye. And, yep. you know, a lot of the young ones seem to be hunched over and don't look up. Yep. Um, so you want someone that stands up straight yep. and happy to have a smile and say hello yes. and welcoming and then a bit of common sense obviously yeah. I always check their school results as well because you, you want them to have been able to do relatively well in maths you know yeah. it's not yeah. important but yes. you don't want them to yeah. have totally yeah. bombed out okay. yeah. um, uh, 
and you want them to be able to put a few sentences together, together and right. and as a, you know just a bit of common sense yeah. as well yeah so but if you can if they've got all those qualities they're in demand right you know, okay. because there's um a, a lot of the young ones are going off to uni or down to Wollongong or to Sydney and I don't think our pool of young ones is um, strong enough. enough. Yep. yep. There's not as many staying as Would I'd like. Full of it. Yep. 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 Um, what else have I got for you, Tony? The, the trades, I mean, there's um, the young people going into trades, I think they'll always be employed, yeah. which is lovely. Especially when it comes into um, gardening and maintenance and that sort of thing. It's it's just incredible. Oh, plumbers and carpenters yeah. and uh, mechanics were were regularly yeah. asked for mechanics, yeah. and um, they're hard to come across. Mechanics are hard to find. Chefs are hard to find. Um, yeah, even good carpenters yeah. are hard to I, find. I, Cabinet makers. We, I know this we don't do many. Sorry, we yeah. don't do many of the trades. Right. We tend to specialise in um, executives, managers, and office support staff. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's our strong point, as well as these um, home roles. I don't quite know what you call them, like housekeepers yep, and things yep. for properties. Uh, we do a lot of those. And the other area where we're often asked to is there's some strong financial stuff going on in this area. Right. You know, there's a lot of businesses down here that use a 1300 number, and people wouldn't know if they're in Sydney or whatever, you know. Yeah, well, it's interesting you say that because one of the people that replied to the drum um, sent me a second email saying, look, Exactly that. I've got a one three hundred number, but I actually work in in Berrima because uh, he didn't want people to know that he wasn't working in the city. So yes, yes. it's a changing employment situation. Isn't yes, it? but it works well for a lot of people. Yes, because you can do that now. Everyone's got laptop, phones, iPads, yep. and you've just yep. you, you do that. Yeah. So everyone loves the lifestyle here. Yeah. But people often move from Sydney and come in almost begging for a job. Yep. Because they don't want to do that commute anymore. Yeah, up the, up the Varicose Lane yes, of the M5. Yes, yes. Yeah. And th there's never <coughs> enough yeah. jobs for people. We're a regional area. Yeah. So the, we're pretty fortunate because if an employer says, I want a fabulous da-da, yeah. you can pretty we're pretty find guaranteed that we can find, we can find them. Yeah. Um, because there's a lot of people who are desperate for a great job. So yep. we love getting great jobs. And, and we have lots at the moment to fill. And you know, look, looking well, around, there's quite a variety. Well, folks, there's the drum. If you're looking to employment here, just have a look down the bottom. There you'll see the URL for Highlands Recruitment. This is the young lady that's the uh, the brains and the driver behind it. And Lynn, thank you very much indeed for appearing on the, uh, on the broadcast. And... I'm absolutely confident in the future of this area and what you can supply to your clients. So thank you very much. Thanks, Tony. Much well, we say come to Highland Recruitment when the right fit matters. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, thanks, okay, Tony. Okay. Well, thank you, team. Great to have you with us. And remember, as long as you've got a pulse, you're having a good day. Uru.